Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So we have this complex integration and we have to find its value with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay. So let us call this complex integration as a I first and then we will find its value. So we have, we have our I is integration over C cos pi z upon z square minus 1 dz. So here the most important thing is that curve C. So let us draw that curve C first, then we will solve the problem. So where, where C is the rectangle. Okay, so they have mentioned C is a rectangle with vertices, with vertices, vertices. The first is, see they have mentioned 2 plus minus i, that means 2 plus i and 2 minus i. So real part 2, imaginary part 1, multiple of i is 1 and second, real part 2, imaginary part is minus 1. Okay, so let me show you. So when you have 2 plus i and 2 minus i, so real part 2, multiple of i is 1. So and here real part 2 and multiple of i is minus 1. So in this way, I got the first two points and similarly, remaining two points will be minus 2 comma 1 and minus 2 comma minus 1. So we have the vertices of given rectangle, right? Okay. So let us draw the rectangle here. This is imaginary axis and this is real axis. Okay. Hmm. So let us take some points 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 2. Okay, the first point is 2 comma 1, 2 comma 1 it is here, getting 2 comma 1. Second, 2 comma minus 1, 2 comma minus 1 it is here, 2 comma minus 1, minus 2 comma 1, minus 2 comma 1, right? And last is minus 2 comma minus 1, it will be here, minus 2 comma minus 1. Okay, so these are the vertices of rectangle, let us join them. So we get, get this type of rectangle here. Okay. So this is a rectangle we have. Okay. So let us consider the function now. So let me write a function. What is the function we have? We have f of z. It is cos pi z upon z square minus 1. Okay. So in denominator, we have a polynomial of degree 2. It is always better to write in a form of factors. So do you know this formula? A square minus B square. It is A plus B, A minus B. So we have Z square minus 1. 1 means 1 square. So we can write Z plus 1, Z minus 1. So I will write, express that denominator as a product of two factors. So cos pi Z upon z plus 1, z minus 1, okay. So denominator we express as a product of factors. So what is our target? We have to find a value of that integration with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. So let us recall the statement of Cauchy's residue theorem first. Then we will plan how to solve this problem, okay. So that Cauchy's residue theorem says integration over c f of z to dz 2 pi i sum of residues. That means that theorem says simply find out the singular point first, singular point, singular point that means a point where denominator is zero or the function is not analytic. We will check those points are lying inside the given curve or outside the given curve. If point lies outside, no need to find residue. But if point lies inside, we have to find residue. Okay. Then we take sum of all such residues and we take product with 2 pi i and we get the value of integration. That means with the help of residues, we find the value of integration. Okay. So this is Cauchy's residue theorem. I will follow the same method to solve the problem. So here also we have to find a singular point. Singular points, that means here we can say the point where denominator is 0. You can easily see if I put 1, sorry, if I put 1, 1 minus 1, 0 we get. That means 1 is singular point. Or if I put z is equal to minus 1, so minus 1 plus 1, 0 again, denominator is 0, that means that is also a singular point. So here, z is equal to 1 and z is equal to minus 1 are 
singular points okay these are singular points so the our next task is to check those points are lying inside c or outside c let us find z is equal to 1 z is equal to 1 is here right just a minute let me write so z is equal to 1 it is here and z is equal to minus 1 it is here so here both points are lying inside c that means we have to find residue at both points both singular points lie inside c that means we have to find residue at both points right so now uh, next how to find residue actually the definition of residue involves Lorentz series expansion but it see very it's very lengthy task but fortunately z is equal to 1 and z is equal to minus 1 are simple poles simple poles means pole of order 1 since both brackets have power 1 so these are simple poles so we have very simple formula to calculate residue okay so let us use let me mention clearly here here z is equal to 1 and z is equal to minus 1 are simple poles okay so i am going to use those simple formulas to calculate residue just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us find residue at z is equal to 1 residue of f of z at z is equal to 1 so we have that simple formula to calculate residue limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 f of z this is a formula right this is equal to limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 what is my f of z cos pi z and we have in denominator z square minus 1 we have already found out its factors z plus 1 z minus 1 okay so tell me can we cancel anything definitely this z minus 1 z minus 1 will get cancelled and for remaining part of a function we have to apply the limit apply the limit that means at a place of z we have to put 1 so let us put 1 at a place of z everywhere so cos pi into 1 you will get pi upon 1 plus 1 here also i am putting z is equal to 1 so cos pi is minus 1 1 plus 1 2 so the residue is minus 1 by 2 that's it finish okay so after that we have to find residue at a second singular point also which is minus 1 so let us find residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 1 it is also a simple fold so that's why that's why the same formula is applicable just at a place of 1 i should write minus 1 everywhere it means limit z tends to minus 1 z here i should write minus 1 so minus minus plus 1 f of z okay so let us continue here this is equal to limit z tends to minus 1 z plus 1 same f of z i should write same f of z cos pi z upon z plus 1 z minus 1 okay same f of z i have written so will you guess the next step our favorite job to cancel this z plus 1 right so z plus 1 z plus 1 will get cancelled and for the remaining part of a function we should apply the limit apply the limit that means at a place of z i should put minus 1 everywhere so if i replace z by minus 1 we will have cos minus pi here minus 1 minus 1 okay here also i am putting z is equal to minus 1 see cos will that uh, cos will absorb that minus sign okay cos will absorb that minus sign so we will have cos pi only and minus 2 in denominator cos pi is minus 1 minus 2 minus minus cancel 1 by 2 so the residue is 1 by 2 here we have got residue minus 1 by 2 so it's time to use Koch's residue theorem so by Koch's residue theorem by Koch's residue theorem integration over c what is the integral we have cos pi z upon z square minus 1 dz that theorem says 2 pi i sum of residues okay so 2 pi i sum so let us take sum of all these residues so here the first one is minus 1 by 2 
एंड सेकेंड वन इज वन बाई टू सो एक्चुअली द वैल्यू ऑफ रेसिड्यूज आर सेम जस्ट साइंस आर अपोजिट सो दे विल गेट कैंसल टू इच अदर टू पाए यू विल गेट जीरो इन साइड द ब्रैकेट जीरो इन टू एनी थिंग जीरो सो द वैल्यू ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इज जीरो ओके प्रॉब्लम इज होर मेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ इट देन वी विल स्टॉप सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू